Hello there everybody, TechnoJock here, bringing you another TechnoJock tutorial. And today we're going to have a quick look at Applied Energistics. Not just any old Applied Energistics though, we're going to be having a look today at Enhanced Storage or SSD, or sometimes referred to as a Soren State Drive, because I believe it was, if not invented by, at least popularised by Soren. Now this is what to do if you are starting to run out of channels on your ME system and you want to add in more storage in particular, though it can be used for other situations. So we've got a very basic setup here. We've got an ME controller and we've got a dense cable hanging off of this one. Um, we've got two lines coming out. We've got one which we can imagine is going off to all of our processing, a bunch of different stuff hanging off of there. So we're using most of our 32 channels on here and we've only got these seven channels here to play with or these eight channels really coming off on this blue line here we're already using seven of them as you can see for lovely storage drives here now imagine if this is going to get full we're going to start going no where are we going to put all of our cobblestone now we need more storage, but I'm already using seven out of eight channels. One more storage drive isn't going to make any difference. I may as well just give up and go home. Well, no, don't do that. The answer is here. And we start off using a uh, storage bus because what we're going to do is we're going to make um, sub networks and we're going to make a sub network right now. We'll put a so storage, bleh, a storage bus there. And then we're going to put one of these ME interfaces on the side of it. Now, it does need to be the small, thin form factor. Um, so if you've got the big block one, uh, put it into your crafting grid and uh, it'll make it into the thin version. Or if you need to change it back at any point, you can. they're interchangeable. So that's all good. But it does need to be the thin one because these don't transfer the data um, through them. Um, if you connect up AE machines that are a full block like this, they transfer the channels through them. That's why we don't need this cable going all the way up the back of these ones, because the uh, the, the data from the top ME drive travels through all the rest of them to come through here. But these thin ones do not. They functionally work the same as any other interface, but they don't actually transfer the data through them. There we go. All very cool and we can have this coming off here and we can start putting on extra drives like this excellent fantastic we can put on more ones here but nothing is working it's not powered no because this doesn't transfer power either so what we need to do is we need to start using a little bit of quartz fiber cable but we're also gonna need some glass cable here as well let's organize this a little bit more and we're gonna bring up our our cable and you can use you can use normal fluix for this um, and there's different ways you can set this up but I like doing it with one cable of the color on that side then put our quartz fiber cable and then we get another cable of the other color on this side and you'll see immediately everything's lit up here and it looks rather pleasing aesthetically as well with keeping the blue here and the red here but that quartz fiber cable can go anywhere in this setup it can go on here it can go on there or as you saw it can go in the middle there it's just how i like to set it up that's all but yeah we've now got all of these uh, channels open to us now and this is now using all eight channels. We've got our seven drives and we've got our storage bus. We now have eight channels available to us on here because remember on an AE system, you can run eight channels before you need to actually have an ME controller. Fantastic, excellent. We can now start going and putting more things on here. So let's say we go, well, we've got one channel used by our, um, our, um, interface and we've got one channel used there two three four channels five six and seven channels there that's us we've used all eight channels yeah we've got seven drives and we've got the interface there and we're all full up well that's no good is it let's get rid of that top one and we're gonna do it again so we can go another storage bus another interface and again, we can start coming over here and we'll say, um, actually I don't want to do that, I want to just, uh, just do that. 
and come up, put that on there, and that one on there. And then this is powered, and we can do the same thing again. And we can continually do this. We can come over here, and we can continually add more drives on, one less than the first one, but we can continually do this. And... Um, happily get away with this. So if we go, let's do one more, because we can actually put this a little bit closer, and I want to see exactly how close I can put this. Now we can't put another ME drive here, because this will transfer the data over that way. But we could have it, we could have it here. In fact, we could have it here. Let's do this. We've got our interface to go on here like that. Let's go back to using the blue again. And we'll need that. So we'll go back to using blue cable and we'll come up like this. We're going to come over here with yellow cable and connect it up for the power. So there we go. That's come over here. We should now have our channels available. Do we not have our channels available? Why do we not have our channels available? We've got 8 out of 8 there. We're using 0 out of 8 here. Why is that? Aha! There we go. That's why. We've got our short there. That's the problem. See what happens when you have a, a little bit of a short in the system? So let's get rid of that cable. We'll put another cable anchor on there so it doesn't connect. And we can reconnect this. Then we've got all 8 of our channels in use there. Beautiful. And if we have a look, let's make sure. Let's just go pop that in there. Yes, that's still lit. Excellent. And if we put it in here, it should be lit as well. Superb. And then we can go up like that and do that. Perfect. So we can have things an awful lot closer together, really. We could probably do it again if we wanted to. And say, right our storage bus interface we're going to need to put well that's ugly isn't it that is ugly let's go around here in fact let's put our cable anchor on there put that back in there perfect that's much nicer so that's something we'll have to watch here as well so we'll need to go um, well, we can immediately put our quartz fiber on here. We're going to go back to using our red cable. And we're going to go... Red cable goes... Cable anchor goes there. Red cable connects up there. Perfect. And then... We should be able to just do that. And we're all connected up there as well. Excellent! So that's how close you can get things. You can just make sure, just keep going around and making sure you don't have anything connected up, shorting out your system. But that that little one there, one block sub-network, well, two blocks, I suppose, really. If you really want to, yeah, two blocks, really, because that's how the power gets in. But that's how, that's how easy you can do it. Excellent. Very happy with that. I hope you're happy with that too. I hope it explains how to use subnetworks. Like I say, it doesn't have to be storage. Do be careful of using this too much. If you nest it far too many times, what you might find is that the stuff that's stored way down at the end of the line might take a little while for it to update and come back to your, your uh, controller and your terminal. And it might start causing a bit of lag. But certainly, a couple of these not going to be a problem, and even with just uh, two or three of these on your system, you're upping your storage capacity by a massive amount. You would never need, in all seriousness, never need to have that kind of storage in a normal Let's Play game. If you're doing something on a single player, knock yourself out. If you're doing it on a server, try and be a little bit more sensible about it and think of, think of the poor CPU at the other end. But until the next time, guys, I hope that you found this entertaining and useful. And until the next time, cheery bye and have a funs. Bye-bye.